Glen Outrin, uh, play for Peterborough United, striker. So today is the uh, last league meeting of the Amputee League. Um, currently three teams in the running to win the title, us being one of them. It's not going to plan at the moment, but we've still got another game to sort that out. So uh, it's the AFL National League today, um, so we have six teams participating in it, playing um, regional fixtures and central venue fixtures, um, so we split into the almost north and south um, and they play from there and then three times a year they meet up and they all play yeah. at central location. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've been amputee since I was a baby and I figured out I could play football when I was about 14 when I realised that as a through hip amputee I could get around more quickly on crutches than on a leg. It took me 14 years to work that out, sadly. Uh, so I started playing with my friends at school and then when I was about 18 or 19 I discovered there was a, a national setup for this which never really had any purchase in the south of the country so I never really knew about it. I had to start going up north to meet with the guys up there. And first I started going up for GB training and then slowly we've been able to build up a league in the south of the country over the last sort of six years. Standard's fantastic as you see today. If you probably have some filming, it is really, really impressive, especially for the for the eye. The first time you watch it, um, you're a bit taken back. The league is getting obviously a lot better, uh, but then obviously there's the international level as well, uh, which I am a part of. Uh, yeah, international is completely different to league level. So, well, as you can imagine, it's the best of the best, same as any football. Yeah, it's a really high standard. There's always been a pretty good GB squad that's uh, had some exceptional players, but has always slightly, yeah, not always, but in recent years, slightly underperformed at the tournaments. But with the addition of the league now and all these, uh, a whole big sort of bedrock of more players coming through, uh, the standards rising. It's everyone's dream to play football for the country when they're younger. Um, obviously, being an amputee, I never thought it would happen, uh, but it has. It's just something that I just love doing. Just be coming along and have a go for the first time. You can play on your leg, you can play on your crutches. If you've got your missing limb, upper body, again, it doesn't matter. Just come and give it a go. Um, a lot of people are taken back to begin with because they don't feel comfortable being classed as disabled, if you will. Um, but there's lads here that you'll see who are exceptional talented footballers. And once you're in the EA for family, as we call it, then we've got you for life probably because you'll absolutely love it. Just a fantastic sport and I, I would recommend anyone who's uh, an amputee to get involved. So you can play on the sticks or you can play on the leg, it works both ways. Really the only motivation you need is that it's a universal game, everyone plays it. If you've got kids and you want to play with them as they're growing up, get playing. If you used to play with your mates and you lost a leg, you can still play. Just If you want to do it, do it. Join us. Let's create a bigger league. Amputees in Nottingham. Let's play. Let's do it. Get involved.